Good afternoon, you two bike smokers. What a swampy day. Rain, humidity is unbelievable. It's supposed to get worse the next few days. But, you can't change the weather. Anyway, hope everybody's doing good this week. We're gonna do another drive video. And today's subject is making YouTube videos. And I urge anybody that watches this that's on the fence of whether they should do YouTube videos or not, I highly recommend you do it. If you want to, do it. A, a YouTuber about a year and a half ago, Max Wolf, he doesn't come on much anymore. Hopefully he's doing fine. Um, he did a video and said, if you're on the fence, just do it. And when I heard him say that, it clicked. Because I was always afraid to do videos in the sense that people make fun or I don't like to see myself on camera. And when he mentioned that, sort of hit home and I said you know what I am what I am I sound the way I sound so I can't change that and I'm not gonna let it hold me back so I started making YouTube videos with the pipe community and I'm glad I did I developed a lot of good friends uh, plus enjoying pipe smoking immensely and I enjoy making videos um, and the reason I came up with the uh, Daily Five was to force me to do content, even though it's not pipe related. Um, I wanted to have a consistent um, presence. And by coming up with the Daily Five sayings or a little tidbits of uh, wisdom forces me to make the videos otherwise if you sit and think about what am I going to post it's very hard to come up with a subject on a regular basis so I felt if I didn't have some kind of uh, system in place for lack of a better word then I find it hard to come up with content and I won't do it on a regular basis and it'll, chances are, it'd be hard to keep going forward. So that's what I suggest. If you have, if you want to do videos, and I urge you, like I said in the beginning, if you want to, to do it, is if you don't have a regular subject that you can speak about to start out. Come up with something of your own. Do two or three videos a week. Try to plan ahead. So, you know, write down six things you want to talk about. And uh, just start doing them. And I do a lot. I don't do a lot of editing. These drive videos require some editing. But the ones I do in the morning, I do from my desk. And it's basically recorded live, and I upload it right from the live uh, after it's, you know, on the desk. Uh, it's a webcam type of thing. So no, I don't do any editing, which, you know, editing in itself is a little bit intimidating if you're not used to it. So that's the other reason I chose a setup that I didn't have to start by editing because then it gets a little too overwhelming between making the content and coming up with a, uh, and then going to edit the video. To start out, 
I can see somebody might lose interest early uh, in the process because it's you're trying to learn editing software plus come up with content. So I suggest you start small. Unfortunately, um, you can't do live streams anymore unless you got a thousand subs. So you have to do it on some recording device. In this case, uh, with this drive, since I have a couple ways I do it. Uh, I have a dash cam that has dual cameras. Um, I use that sometimes. I have a video camera, which I'm using now, that has a built-in second camera. And it happens to be 4K, but the 4K is on the facing the road. And the, the camera with my pretty face on it is a uh, lower um, resolution camera which is fine for the purpose. So it has picture in picture built in, which makes life a lot easier. So choose your subject, come up with some kind of plan, maybe two or three weeks worth of content, so you can become sort of regular, um, and do it. It's very, re very rewarding on many levels. Um, I happen to enjoy cameras, so I do like using, I like tech stuff no matter what it is, so um, I like that part of it. And, and there's a lot of uh, YouTube content. You could mirror what somebody else is doing to start. Um, and you can take it to whatever level you want. You know, the better, what's the most important thing about doing YouTube videos, in my opinion, more so than image quality, is sound. So make sure you have a good sound uh, on your videos. Make sure your mic, if you're using a mic, is doing its job. And, um, you know, the picture could be a little lower resolution, but the sound is most important because that's what people hear. Of course, if you can get fancy with intros and all that thing, it's um, just is more rewarding to the viewer. Um, so very rarely do I do an intro. Uh, I have some, but again, it requires, you know, my time is not always what I want it to be, so I don't have time to sit down for two or three hours and edit a video. So I chose to do it the way I'm doing it. And it works, I think it works for me. so many avenues, uh, you know, pipe smoking, pipe reviews, tobacco reviews, lighter reviews, uh, tamper reviews, making tampers, making a pipe, uh, modifying a pipe, cleaning a pipe, restoring a pipe. Talking about a pipe, talking about finding a pipe, talking about tongue bite, talking about moisture content, talking about filters, talking about stem material, uh, pipe material. I mean, it's really on and on and on. It's um, if you look around, there's plenty of subject matter to speak about. So that's my tip. on the fence, get off the fence and start making a video, start today, use your phone, use whatever you have to start, come up with a name and be yourself, and 
you're off to the races. Best wishes. Anybody want to drop me a line about any tips, any way I can help any of you? I'm not an expert in anything. I don't claim to be. Well, I am an expert in transmissions, per se, but um, not on YouTube. <laughs> not about making videos, but I'll help you any way I can. Drop me a line, and that's it. Hope that helps, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.